Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Olivia Brown and I am currently a fourth year undergraduate student at UCLA studying anthropology. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys what linguistic anthropology classes I have taken. Now it was Pi Day recently, so I felt like I had to dress for the occasion. So please excuse the number earrings in this linguistics video. I just, I had to do it. So now on to those classes that I have taken. So really quickly, before I actually jump into those classes, if anyone doesn't know, I wanna share with you guys what linguistic anthropology is on the most basic level. And basically, linguistic anthropology is the study of languages around the world and how we use language to construct identity and use language to understand the people and the world around us. Now, the first anthropology class that I took in college was actually also the first class I'd ever taken in college. Like, no joke, I was a freshman, the first class I ever walked into ever was this anthropology class and let's just say it kicked my college experience off to a good start and that anthropology class was anthropology for culture and communication and so usually you take lower division courses first which are like these general ed big picture classes that help you to get the basic tools of the topic down. And then as you get older, you get to take upper division courses, which are way more detailed. Now this first class is the lower division linguistic anthropology class that gives you all the nuts and bolts that you need to know for understanding linguistic anthropology in a deeper way later on. Now in this class, there is a lot of reading, a lot of essay writing on this channel before. I've talked about some of the books that we read for this course, including Articulate While Black and Racio linguistics, but I'm not going to get into that now. Now, one of the biggest things that I would imagine that you're going to be studying in this introductory linguistic anthropology class at any university, not just at my university, is this idea of ontology, which is basically what makes language what it is, understanding why we speak the way we speak, how we speak the way we speak, how it's different depending on what culture you live in and all these other things. You're also going to be reading a lot of articles such as The Linguistic Facts of Life by Lippy Green, or I would imagine that you would be reading that because it basically explains everything that you need to know in the most introductory sense about linguistic anthropology. Now, if you want to learn more about linguistic anthropology and not just the classes that I've taken, I have done some other videos on that. The one being most helpful to you guys is actually going to be what is linguistic anthropology. And I will have that linked right here if you want to go check that out. So you can kind of understand exactly what I'm throwing at you. Now, the next class that I took for linguistic anthropology is called Anthropology 159, Hip Hop, Race, and Social Justice from South Central to South Africa. Now, this class was so stinking cool. And I took it actually because it was taught by the same professor that taught that Anthropology 4 class that I just talked to you guys about. And he is so great. And imagine your career, literally what you do, what you get paid for is studying hip hop and language used in hip hop. That is so Cool, so of course I couldn't resist the opportunity to take this class. Now, this course was basically an examination of hip hop and hip hop music around the world, but more specifically in South Africa. Something that I really did like about this class was we actually watched a lot of films rather than read a lot of texts, which I do feel is a common theme for anthropology classes. But yes, it was really fun to watch all these films and see hip hop actually getting used in these different ways and these different ciphers and it was just so awesome. Something else that was really awesome to take away from this class was looking at how these different socio-political conditions actually leads to the construction of different types of rap music or different types of language being used in hip hop. Something I think that does come up again and again through linguistic anthropology or honestly just linguistics in general is this idea of identity construction and how we basically create ourselves through language and to see that within the hip hop space more specifically and within rap music was really unique and different from anything that I had seen before because these ideas like race, like masculinity, they all get constructed in different ways when you're just speaking to someone versus rapping about it. And it allows you to identify with these different classes or different groups of people and to get to look at this in a really deep and analytical way was such an amazing experience. Now this class I actually did take during 
during the heat of the pandemic and lockdown right when everything really started. So to have something interesting to do and listen and watch was really enjoyable. Now, I don't think I said this earlier in the video, but I am actually a biological anthropology student. So I have taken a ton of biological anthropology courses like a ton and less courses in these other areas, the archeology, span linguistics, and cultural classes. And so I've actually technically only taken those two linguistic anthropology classes, but because I didn't think that was enough, I wanna just read off some of the classes that are listed on the UCLA registrar so you guys can get a good idea of what other linguistic anthropology classes could be available to you in the college space, because I think they're pretty awesome. And since I only have four years, I didn't get to do all of them, but some of those are ethnography of everyday speech, gender and language in society, and Native American languages and their speakers. Now, if you guys want to see more, I'm going to leave the UCLA registrar's office, their link in the description box down below. If you just click on that and then click on upper division courses and scroll down to the 150s, those are going to be all the linguistic anthropology classes. But you guys can see these for every university, but sometimes it is a little complicated to know like which numbers are connected to which type of class. So. Hopefully that helps you guys out in some way or another. Now, I think linguistic anthropology is something that is so underappreciated and also so important. Language is something we use every single day. And at this point is completely essential in terms of how we live our lives. So if you have anything that you would like to share with me in the comment section below about linguistic anthropology, please do that. Also book recommendations, anything. I love talking to everybody down there. So do let me know. And I will leave some other links to my other videos on linguistic anthropology either here or in the comment section or the description box that down below. So yeah, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Sunday and a happy start to spring. How exciting is that? And I will see everybody next Sunday. All right, you guys. Bye.